Um, today I'm going to preach about um, Joseph's dream, and um, I made up my title, and this goes on with what um, my teacher Sonia and what Amari had read in Genesis, um, Genesis 37 um, and on. Okay, today we're going to talk about Joseph and his dream. So, in the beginning, um, Joseph, it tells that he was the 11th child out of his um, 11 brothers and sisters. Joseph had a father named Jacob, and God had changed Jacob's name from Israel to Jacob because Jacob was no longer evil or a liar, and Jacob loved his and Jacob loved his son Joseph more than all of his children. And now Joseph's brothers hate him because he was the favorite child of Jacob. So they're really jealous and are having envy of him. Um, one day Joseph had a dream, so he told his brothers. But they did not believe him or his dreams. So practically they were saying, oh, your dream is not going to come true. It's all a lie. We hate you still. You're just a liar, and you're so you're you're just so dramatic. And in Joseph's dream, he dreamed that he saw him and his brothers picking up sheep grain on a field. But then all of a sudden, all his brothers surrounded him while picking the sheaves. And in that moment, his brothers asked him. In his dream, indeed, will you reign over us or have dominion over us? So, in other words, Joseph's brothers were actually saying what was really going to happen in his future. But in reality, they didn't know that that was going to happen. And that was the purpose for him. That is what Joseph's dream was about. Now getting back to the story. All the brothers attempted to kill Joseph. But out of all the brothers, one of them, Reuben, says, No, what are we going to profit out of it if we kill him? Let's just not touch him, but still throw him in the pit and abandon him and leave. After, Ruben just wanders off, so the brothers are eating and drinking in front of Joseph's face and making him starve. So while Joseph was in the pit, they would make fun of him, saying about his dream, that um, he was a liar and he was faking it, and that um, making him, teasing him about how he was starving and, and his brothers were just eating in front of him. And at that time, Reuben had just went because he didn't like what he didn't like what they were doing, so he just wanted to off. And um, then come some Egyptian people, and it was so unbelievable that I don't believe one of the brothers would do this. But he yelled out, um, "Here, you can take my brother," because he saw gold with the Egyptian. And he thought that, oh, I can get some of this gold by selling my brother. So he yells out, I'm selling my brother, but for 20 pieces of gold. So the Egyptians paid the 20 pieces of gold and took Joseph. In my opinion, I can't believe they actually did that. So it was really hard for me to believe it. <clears throat> but after reading this passage, I have learned that there must have been a purpose. Life. For Joseph and that purpose, we can find it in Genesis chapter 45, verses 7 through 8. Everybody have And God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. 
So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God. And he hath made me a father to Pharaoh, and lord of all his house, and a ruler throughout all the lands of Egypt. Um, um, this made me believe that Joseph was a good person in Egypt and did not let his brothers get in his way and he just listened to God and believed with him that he could become a great ruler of Egypt and tell all the people that they should believe in God. And also now I believe that everyone and everything on this earth has a purpose just like Joseph did. And just like God was protecting Joseph as a child, he has been protecting us ever since. For example, in the Bible it says that no one, not no one, had not laid not one finger on Joseph because God was protecting him for his purpose in Egypt to become a great ruler to the people and teach them that God is real and that the people should follow him. I have a life experience about this um, because in my school, when I was smaller, I used to be bullied a lot. And I used to have an awesome friend that would always offend me and would always care about me and they would um, be like angels from God helping me um, help me fight those people away. Um, they would help me a lot. So I thank God that um, he sent his angels for me. And I just want to tell everybody that if you see a brother or sister or a friend getting hurt, we should help them, um, help them and not leave them behind. We should all help each other. And that if a brother or a sister or a friend has a dream, we should always encourage them and not hate them for what their dream might be in, in, in their future. We should all help them with their dream and not leave them behind and help them. And this is the end of my um, preach. Have a great night. <laughs>